two things we know, isn't there? Uh, one, that... What was the thing? Well, I've forgotten what one is, but two is that I'm engaged in a legal dispute with Jason Derulo over the rights of the song Wiggle Wiggle. Uh, I wrote that. In that intro, you saw me trying to play I Fall In Love Too Easily, one of my favourite jazz ballads. Um, I wasn't necessarily particularly happy with how that went, but it is what it is. First thing I'd say, it's worth checking out Chet Baker's version of that tune, which is amazing, and also Jonathan Kreisberg's version of that tune, which is amazing. Probably plenty of other versions that you'll be able to find that you dig if you've not heard the tune before, or even if you have. Um, but those are kind of my two favourite versions. The tab for the chord melody, which I'll put up later on today, will go up on Patreon. And also the backing track. I think I'm going to add an extra chorus to the backing track. But yeah, uh, if you want to like and subscribe if you're into this sort of stuff. Uh, someone trying to play jazz on the Jazz Master, I guess. Bit of a niche. But anyway, that would really help me. So, let's get into it. So, I maintain that this song is mostly in D major. Uh, given that we end it on we start our song E minor and my advice to you is to start off learning the melody we start off with an E minor not in an E minor so we start off with chord 2 I'd learn the melody first so play along with chat or something G minor, 
So a two five one in F, then to an F sharp minor, to a B. one in D to end. So we move through a few keys there, um, most of it sort of sticking around the D major area, there's an A major and then the kind of flurry away and that part. So that bit is worth kind of paying specific attention on and practicing. So the chord melody, as I say, I'm going to write out for you on Patreon. So I would practice taking some arpeggios around the structure um, as shown sort of there, particularly that part where we're going from the G sharp minor to the C sharp major and then settling on that half, uh, F sharp. I should have practiced a bit more before I tried this. So. A good tune for a couple of two five ones, minor two five ones, and moving between the relative minor and major, and uh, just linking things up in that way. Oh, at the start of the song as well, my intro was using kind of these inversions. Leading up to the E minor. The way that I arrived at these was coming from the G melodic minor scale. Or I think another word for it might be the mix of the lady in flat six. If you were using the D as the root. Um, but I'm just moving this shape through the scale, so we've got a D, an A, uh, a B flat, and an F sharp, and then if we moved every note down the scale, you'd end up with a B flat, an F sharp, a G, and another D, and then a G, a D, and an E. take on that tune as I say the chord melody I'll transcribe and put up on my uh, patreon um, again some of the things that I like to do with this one is to kind of keep it a bit spacey what okay wait for me there's a wasp so I've got to end the uh, lesson nice and early um, thank you for stopping by if you could like and subscribe that would really help and I'll catch you in another video soon cheers